You are gorgeous, buddy. Hi there, we are Jill and Chris. After three years of full-time travel and a stunning New Year's Eve in Istanbul, 2021 brought us firmly into Africa. The first four months of the year had us exploring the desert countries of Egypt and Sudan. And at the beginning of May, we made our way south to the lush tropical paradise of Uganda. Thanks for following along as we continue to explore as much of this big old world as we can. last video had us traveling by bus and motorcycle heading up into Raboni, a small community nestled into the mountains of Ruanzori National Park along the Congo border. We were thrilled when we arrived as we had actually thought that we were headed to the savanna grasslands. We definitely didn't know that we were headed to a white zone, a place with no internet, no cell service, no nothing. It was a bit of a shock to the system, but it didn't take long for us to adjust. We quickly fell in love with the camp and the jungle setting that it sat in, and we spent many days relishing in the pure beauty of it all. So um, being in a white zone um, means that uh, we are completely away from cell signal and um, internet and electricity and everything. We're completely off the grid here, so uh, so there's there's no distractions. Um, the only thing that we really have to do is sit and stare at the trees and the birds and the plants and the butterflies and uh, watch watch nature go by. Of course, we have we have some stuff to work on as well, but uh, but yeah, for the most part, we spend uh, we spend much time just sort of looking out and um, and sort of watching the the nature flit about. Uh, this place is we're li literally on the side of the mountain and all the water that they get is fresh tap water straight from the mountainside because it's all uh, basically national park beyond us so there's no problem with drinking this water it's, it's pure it's clean it's coming right from the rain and right from the jungle so beautiful okay so now we're mashing some bananas with uh with the yucca or the cassava root um to make some sort of pancakes and we've got some honey in there. Oh, we could do some cinnamon too, maybe. I've got uh, ginger in here already. Oh, ginger, okay. Yeah. We don't have cinnamon. Okay. All right, so yeah, we'll see how this turns out. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stage one. Stage one. <laughs> we'll see what happens here. We're not sure it's gonna exactly. work. Exactly. But uh, we're up for experimenting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we flipped it. It, it looks like a it. pancake. It looks like it might work. It's going to be greasy as all get out, but... Yep. <laughs> this is going to be the, like their chapatas. Yeah. Yeah. Breakfast. Which are greasy. Greasy are breakfast greasy. for mm -hmm. a productive day. I was going to cut some mangoes to go with this, but uh, you can do that if you want. Sure, I'll do that. Okay. So, what's the final verdict? It's tasty. Yeah? Yeah. Tasty. It took a while. It took us like an hour or more mm -hmm. to make. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah. They're crispy and yummy and with the mango it's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we've come down here for uh, internet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is our office today. <laughs> we uh, we don't have we have we said before we don't have cell service at the hotel, so we have to come somewhere where we have some, which is here. So we're gonna sit on a rock and uh, get some stuff done. Yes. <laughs> this tiny trading post of Raboni was the nearby village to where we were staying and had very limited supplies but we were able to buy some food there 
However, we did have to go on a boda boda to go to the nearby markets to get more selection. Got the chickens in the coffee here. <laughs> So we're uh, heading off to a homestay for a night. The uh, place that we're staying at has a group of dentists and doctors that are doing a bunch of volunteer work for some of the locals. So we are uh, going to be doing a homestay elsewhere in town. Yeah, we get to go stay in the local village and, um, and experience village life for one night. So that'll be pretty cool. Hello! <laughs> So this is the road to our homestay, mm -hmm. and yeah, set below the beautiful mountains, bananas. Mm -hmm. Here we are, our home for the night. Pretty nice home. Okay. So there's somebody here. Hello. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Can you fit? Hello. <sighs> Hello. So this is our spot. Come into the little dining room, living area, <laughs> and then. This is our bedroom. Tiny little bed. We're gonna be snuggling tonight. <laughs> and down here is our bathroom. <clears throat> Toilet, sink, shower. Yeah. Nice. Everything we need for a night. How's the kitchen? I never looked. <laughs> oh, cute. Oh. oh, yeah, they're making wine over here. Local wine. Mm, maybe we'll get to try some. <laughs> cool. We have a crowd forming. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How are you? Fine. Good. <laughs> So this is life in the jungle here. This is what we got to do. Uh, we're we're kind of in the sticks. We don't have uh, electricity. Yeah. No washing machines. So. We don't even have cell phone or internet. No. So, Yep. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. You can't yeah. complain. Exactly. Like we got uh, all this freaking view here, so it's like, yeah, we definitely cannot complain, not one bit. Mm -hmm. So this little sweetheart just brought us a couple uh, little guavas, and so we gave her the rest of our dates, and she took them over and shared them with her friends over here. So the kids are getting a nice treat. <laughs> Down here by the river. <laughs> Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Let's go! <laughs> the last one. 
That's one is still sitting there fucking making away. Those are three? There's four. It's so we, we came back to the kitchen to cook our dinner. And this poor little chicken's in here. And she'll be on the plate tomorrow, I'm sure. So she, this is her final night alive in the world. <laughs> And she's so cute. I love her. I wish she would let me pet her, but she's too scared. Probably for a good reason. I'm sure she's wondering where all her friends are. As part of our volunteer agreement uh, at the Raboni Community Camp, we were given a local guide that took us around and showed us the local community. And we did a lovely forest walk where he showed us lots of medicinal plants and uh, we saw some beautiful scenery. to roast our own Ugandan coffee picked fresh from the plant on site. And so that's the roasted coffee beans. Yeah. Nice and minutes, shiny and beautiful. Roasted right in front of us. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna believe that'll be good. <laughs> well, so the final. That's tasty. <laughs> That's good stuff. Mm -hmm. Literally roasted right there, pounded, sifted. Wow, mm -hmm. super good amazing <laughs> and we watched the local blacksmith make a knife from scratch in his blacksmith studio in the middle of the forest stoking the, stoking the fire at the blacksmith center here Well, I got into the bathroom and it started absolutely downpouring. So now I gotta negotiate getting from uh, from here to over there. Without getting too wet, 
unless I want to stand in the bathroom all day because I don't think this is going to let off. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, here it goes. Lights. Oh god. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, ja. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, after 10 whole days of being at the camp, they were able to arrange to purchase some paint so that we could start painting our mural, the whole reason that we had come there in the first place. It was agreed with the manager that the concept for the design would come from the logo for the camp. This counter is the main entrance point for guests when they arrive to uh, do their registration and it also acts as sort of a bar in the corner of the restaurant area. excited because we are finished here at the Raboni camp for now. <clears throat> um, we've painted uh, a couple mural pieces, uh, decorative art pieces, and uh, there's some more work for us to do here. But uh, first we're heading off to the Elephant Home, which is another camp that the same organization owns. And it's uh, down in the Savannah lands. And apparently there's going to be elephant sightings at the camp and uh, lions and hippos and who knows what else so we're pretty excited but uh, I'll give you a sneak a peek here at uh, what we completed on this project so these are the uh, the sort of highlights of the camp the, the different activities that that you can partake in <clears throat> and this is sort of the the welcome counter area when you come into the the main part where the guests guests arrive and this uh, um, design was based off of the logo of Raboni Ca Community Camp. <clears throat> so these little houses and, and the mountains and stuff is all sort of come from that design. And all profits go to the local community at this camp, which is amazing. And uh, we've definitely seen it firsthand. A lot of the guides come right from the community. If you want to check out their website, there it is. And here's our sort of little signature. <laughs> so yeah very excited to have completed this and uh really dresses up the room it was just um <clears throat> just plain wood before and it's sort of a dark space so so this definitely brings some life to the space and uh yeah everyone seems to be really happy with it so so we're thrilled they're thrilled perfect it's just what we want and here's chris putting the final touches on his vines, getting the highlights done. He's 
done both posts out here with vines. And um, when we come back, we'll probably do the, uh, the two end posts as well. And uh, yeah, we have a bunch of signage to do and we're gonna be painting those little, um, all of these little lamp lampshades. Uh, there's about 20 of them in total all the way down the trails. So we'll be painting those and um, yeah, adding some more decorative touches to the to the area. So yeah, this is our this is our office. Not too bad. <laughs> hey, hey, thanks guys. for uh, thanks for watching this week's video. Yeah, we're checking out our time here at uh, Raboni Camp. Yeah, we're just wrapping up and uh, going to be heading off to. Heading off to uh, Queen Elizabeth uh, National Park next, so mm -hmm. uh, and um, uh, we're we're excited because it's uh, it's going to be a fifteen minute walk from the equator yeah. where we're staying, so yeah, we're going to be like be. right on the equator. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, they say elephants come visit the camp and all these kinds of things, and lions mm -hmm. even. So it's going to be yes. really exciting. Mm -hmm. So it's been pretty nice staying in this village. Uh, we've been learning like local customs and local language. There's like 52 langu different languages in all of Uganda, so it can be confusing to <laughs> try to learn them all, I guess. Yeah. Um, this place has been a great place to stay. Uh, it's it's a, all known as a white zone, which doesn't actually have any cell signal or, or, or Wi-Fi or anything like that. So it's it's been interesting, we'll say that. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, you know, at the beginning, it's a bit of a shock to the system not being able to, like, <laughs> check check uh, notifications all the time. But um, yeah. we have to walk 15 minutes down the road to get online. So it's sort of a planned event every day. And we only spend, like, one to two hours, you know, checking at things most, and doing yeah. the work that we need mm -hmm. to do. And, uh, yeah, the biggest challenge is, was posting our videos. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> other we, than that, it's been a nice it, break. Guess, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, we, we're really excited to uh, mm -hmm. to head to a new place and we're really happy with the work that we did here and we, we will be coming back here to do some more work and uh, it's really nice to be um, helping out a community organization like this uh, and volunteering and um, really feeling like we're contributing to the to the potential economy here in, in Uganda. They're, mm -hmm. um, this, this area specifically, they say, has very few visitors so we're working on some promotions, we're going to do a promotional video for them and, and some other stuff. So more more stuff to come <laughs> yes uh, thank you for uh subscribing if you haven't already yes please subscribe and uh, click that notification bell so you can uh, get to see all of our videos yes we have uh, a lot more exciting stuff happening here in uganda i'm sure and mm -hmm. uh more to come in the future definitely so yes so make sure you follow along and um thanks for joining us and uh we'll chat with you next week yes thanks bye bye <laughs>